Welcome back to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. Today we are making bacalao guisado, stewed cod. So what you wanna do is in a bowl of water, get the salted cod and let it sit there. I let it sit for about an hour. Then I cut up my veggies. So I have different colors, the bell pepper and then a red onion. Use the onion that you choose that is your favorite, basically. Now in a pot of boiling water, once it's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cod so that it can boil. The reason we do this is because it's very super, super salty and hard and tough. So we wanna get it soft. And once it's pork tender, like so, you can drain it and get started on the sauce. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of sofrito. You can find the link in the description for my sofrito. Add the veggies and we're gonna saute them in there. We're gonna add, oops, sorry. Gonna add um, tomatoes. You can leave those out if you wish. And a quarter cup of tomato sauce. This smells delicious already. We need smell-o-vision. I don't know how many times I say it in my videos. When are we getting smell-o-vision? Yum. Now let that saute a bit. And as you see there, that's what we want. And now we are gonna add the cod that we drained. See that, those pieces? And it's okay, it's gonna be in pieces. That's It's okay, it's a stew. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add some bay leaves, one, two, four, whatever you choose. I usually do two large ones. You can add anything else too. Now this is Sasson, it has no MSG, but I also make my own. Um, I've only gotten one comment from someone who wants to know how to make your own. So if you're interested in that, I need more comments guys. Oregano and black pepper. I need more comments on that sasson before I go ahead and make a video. Because if you guys are not interested, I'm not going to waste your time. Now here I like to add these olives with the pimientos. But if you don't want to add them, that's fine. You can leave those out as well. It is a good fat. Much like the aguacate and about half a cup of water. You could put more if you want it more soupy like um, to pour over the eggplant that we're gonna be uh, boiling in a moment to eat together with this. Doesn't that look awesome? It smells amazing, guys. Oof, getting hungry. Now this video was done in my older kitchen. I added more water as you can see. I found it, so I wanted to make sure I get it out to you guys because it's a quick, easy weekday meal. Super yummy. Now, I am Puerto Rican, and it seems like every city in Puerto Rico cooks differently. <laughs> if you're Puerto Rican, you know what I'm talking about, and this is how I make mine. And now for eggplant time. In a pot of boiling water, I'm gonna add the eggplant that I chopped up into cubes. You can cut it whatever shape you want it. I don't care if you make stars or hearts. <laughs> and we're gonna let this boil until it is pork tender. Now remember to visit my website at www.ketowithlee.us for the written recipe. Test it out and it's good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more. And I have more fabulous recipes underway as well as giveaways, guys. Share the love, do all the YouTube stuff. God bless you.